Hi, this is David Kerner. I'm the broker in charge and president of Touchpoint Property Management. I'd like to thank you for watching this video series on property onboarding so you know what to expect. In this section, what I'm going to cover is landlord insurance. Okay, so most customers come to us and they do have homeowners insurance on the property. The problem is typical normal homeowners insurance covers any liability in the property, assuming that the owner lives in the property. Um, if something does happen in the home and the uh, insurance company can prove that the owner doesn't live in the property and instead it's vacant or it's tenant occupied, they could deny coverage. Now, let me start by saying I am not an insurance agent. I'm not a licensed insurance agent. I'm just letting you know from my experience what to expect. So to be compliant, we require that you call your insurance agent or we can refer a few different insurance agents to you. You're going to want to just edit your policy and make it what's called a landlord insurance policy. In the business of insurance, sometimes it's otherwise known as a fire policy. From what I've seen, it doesn't cost you any more money to change the policy. It's just a different type of policy that assumes that the owner does not live in the property, but instead a renter will be living in the property. So if anything should happen, such as, gosh, a hot water heater busts and breaks and it leaks all over your floor, well, uh, it, it'll cover the the repair even if a renter lives in the property so a couple things that, that we do require um, we require once you do get the policy we ask you to tell the agent to add our company name to the policy um, the way it should be added is in quotes touchpoint property management as additionally insured okay and, and what that means is uh, there, there's two reasons that we need our company name listed on the policy as additionally insured. Um, at no charge to you as the owner, it will provide our company with coverage in the event, or should I say extra coverage, in the event that anything at all happens that is out of our control, yours and ours. Things do happen. Yes, we do already have our own insurance, but more insurance is always better. Okay, so we require that. Secondly, the other reason is if there is some sort of uh, problem in the property, let's say, for example, a fire, a flood, something like that, um, we will need, as your property manager, to call your insurance company, communicate with them, and make a claim with your insurance company on your behalf and follow through with the um, assessment and the repair process for you. That's part of our job as the uh, manager of your property. Having our name on the policy will allow us to talk to your insurance company on your behalf. If our name is not on the policy, then we're gonna have to go through all these hoops uh, to get a third party authorization form. Meanwhile, time goes by. These are typically emergency type issues. So it's better that we get this done in advance so that if anything should happen, we can act quickly if something like that ever does occur. So keep in mind that we also require all of our residents, all of the renters and tenants that live in the property, we require them to have renter insurance as well, also known as tenant liability insurance. Um, and we will try to use the renter insurance uh, first, if it's applicable, before we make any claims on your insurance policy. So we have multiple levels of uh, insurance. The owner's covered, the property is covered, the renter is covered, and the property management is covered. So thanks so much. You can simply scan the email or send the attachment to our email address, which is support at touchpointpm.com. We will keep it on file and uh, help keep you compliant. Thanks so much for watching this video. The next video is uh, called onboarding call with your account manager. So please take a look at that email. It will be next. Thanks.